So for the next part of the experiment in cooking with diesel, I came across this old Coleman 425E camping stove on eBay. Um, looks like it's from about 1976 or so. Um, seems to be in pretty good shape. Um, I'm going to try to run this on diesel. Now I expect I'm going to have some problems getting it lit, yeah, which is why I have the torch here. Um, this tube here is the generator and normally this is made to run on Coleman fuel that has a uh, flash point of uh, I think it's about minus four degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, diesel has a flash point of about 130 degrees Fahrenheit or so. It could be a little lower, a little higher, um, which means it's basically not, con not going to burn until we get it up to that temperature. Now I think this generator tube should be able to get it to a high enough temperature where the, the diesel will be able to burn and, and, and combust cleanly. But I'm guessing it's going to be really hard to get started and it's probably going to take a lot of maintenance on this generator tube to keep it clean over time. Um, we'll see how that goes, but but basically I'm going to start by uh, putting a little bit of diesel in it. I haven't run this unit at all, so I don't actually even know if it works. The, the tank does hold pressure. I did verify that and the pump seems to work. Um, but we're going to fill it up with a little bit of diesel and uh, see if we can get it to, to light. Um, I'm guessing that it's probably going to involve some big flames and um, I've got my fire extinguisher here um, but it, you know it, it could get a little ugly initially it should settle down once it warms up we'll see um, uh, there's really no practical reason to run this on diesel um, the Coleman fuel is relatively cheap for the amount I'd use um, but I kind of like the idea of just having one fuel for everything um, I just want to see if this this will work.
Well, I, I tried for about five minutes or more uh, to put some heat on that um, uh, that generator with a propane torch, and I really can't seem to get it hot enough to get a nice blue flame, a nice stable blue flame. It's a little bit windy out today, so that's probably not helping me much because I, I just can't keep any heat into that generator. But uh, it was a neat experiment. I might play around with this a little bit more and see if there's if there's something else I can do to uh, uh, try to um, improve the ability to burn um, diesel in this. I know some people have managed to burn uh, kerosene in these um, with some success. Um, it doesn't look like it's very happy with diesel right now. We'll, we'll give it a few more minutes and see if it if, if it settles down. Well, unfortunately, that was fairly conclusively unsuccessful. Um, I thought it was going to take off for a while there, uh, but it, we just never seemed to get to the blue flame, the clean burning blue flame. Um, I think we just cannot get enough heat into the generator to get good vaporization of the of the fuel. Um, so if anyone's got any ideas, maybe throw them in the comments. Um, but I think I'll probably just end up running this on Coleman fuel instead of uh, diesel, it looks like, unfortunately.